Shay, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So today I'm doing like my first prank video on my husband. During the pandemic, everybody was doing like these little audition for grants. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you do not know, I own a skincare line called The Moisture Shop. Be sure to check it out. I'll drop the link here. Be sure to shop. So this is the one that I told them we're doing. It's like the FedEx loan. I've been talking about it all week. Like, oh my God, I need the deadline. Woo, woo, woo. So he think we really gonna do that, y'all. We not. So I'm gonna juice it up real good. Like he ain't got no job and I just really need this money. And we gonna see how it go, okay? <laughs> I'm like, why you think I should get it? Or like, just, you know, just kind of be like, let him know I work hard or how much you help me. Come up some, so they can't even see. Um, Get my phone so I can read the requirements. So basically, you'll just start off, you'll just let them know like how much you helped me. Um, the 21st, what's today's date? The 19th, okay, so today I have the deadline, the 21st is the deadline. So you just let them know like how much you helped me out, or why you think I deserve this grant, like a hard hour, and then I'll just come in and just piggyback off what you're saying, because I really don't know what to say. Like, you know it's hard to explain yourself to somebody else. So like, I'll just piggyback off like. Know. I know, but I, I don't know. I mean, I should know, but I don't. Okay, okay, come on. I'll let you start. If I wasn't in here, what would you be doing? I wouldn't do it without you. That's why I, That's why I've been taking so long. Because I ain't know, like, this is when I, it first opened up the 31st of last month. I just wasn't ready. Um, so I'll just introduce myself and then I'll let you take the floor. And then I'll just take it back on whatever you say. That's cool. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, my name is Dominique. Um, I own the business, The Moisture Shop. I've currently been in business for one year. Um, I opened up my business two years ago, but I just wasn't ready to like launch it. So um, I officially opened it up of November of 2021. Yes, what was it? So 2020, I was pregnant. I opened up the business. I went and got my license. 2021, I actually launched the business. And 2022 was like my first actual full year of being in business. Um, and so far it is successful, but I do feel like I need more funds like to push my business, like my vision, my business where I want to go. Um, this is my husband, he helps me out a lot, so I'll give him the full to like explain why he feel like I'd be a great candidate for this, um, this grant. Yeah, I feel like Dominique would be a very great candidate for the, uh, for the, for the grant. Yes, small business FedEx grant. Yeah, FedEx grant. Um, basically because she, she's a very hardworking woman. That, I know exactly how much effort she puts into her business, especially maintaining me and also a almost two-year-old child um, working from like morning to three o'clock the next day, like nonstop, trying to make product, trying to print out labels, come up with content for advertising. Uh, I can tell it's a lot and I try my best to help her out as, as well as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel like she's just a great, uh, great person, great hardworking person. Uh, she knows what she wants and she go gets it. Yes, um, like you said, like it's hard to like maintain him like, in the house. So we like, figured it would be best if he just like quit his job and just work like help me with my business like full time because I do make more than him and it's just like the work he's doing. Side eye, criminal offensive. <laughs> side eye. Stop. It's just like the work that he's doing is not really contributing to the household. So we felt like it would be best if he just like quit his job. So right now it's just me working and I'm like paying. <laughs> Why could you have to be serious? Now you got to make it feel like I'm just like, I ain't doing shit. Like, I... Well, no, I want them to feel like I need the money. Like they don't know you okay. personally. Don't make that face. You gonna, I got to be serious. So we decided that um, it would be best if I was just working and he stayed home with the baby because childcare is expensive and we have like a luxury apartment. Um, he was paying all the bills at the time and I think our rent was like almost $1,800 a month, which he was carrying the load of. Um, but it was just really not enough um, with me like doing the business. And then I was just like, well, you just come, I'll go ahead and stay home. I'll take care of the baby. I'll go to work and I'll do my business on the side. So I actually need more funding to help push my vision because now I'm paying all the bills. I pay both of our car notes. Um, stop, my. Oh my God, you fucking liar. 
<laughs> Please stop. I'm about to edit this so much. I don't want to edit this so much. Just act like a deadbeat. It's really, so nigga? Just be like. I can't just say it and be like. Or don't let me do so much of the talking. Just come back and feeling like, yeah. Just stop. Fuck. <laughs> Hey, come on, oh, it's ten thousand fucking dollars. I'm gonna fuck. It's ten thousand. Yeah. I thought it was fifty. No, it's ten thousand. You can like spend it between different people. They're gonna select the number of people and they select those people. Mm-hmm. So they gonna select 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 five people. <sighs> so when I when I come in, you just come back in and be like, just let them know like how hard it is with me just paying all the bills. Okay. Sure. Okay. So right now I'm paying both our car notes, all the phone bills in the home. I'm paying the insurance. Um. Recently, um, I'm getting emotional. I'm sorry. Recently, <laughs> recently, um, something happened with this car, so I had to cover that. So it's just a lot. Um, I just feel like if I could just have some money just for my business alone, it'll just give me like a little leeway, like just to breathe because I'm doing working, YouTube, country creating. Now I have to be a mechanic and a mom and a dad. So he's like basically just, he's my husband and I appreciate him, but he's really just like a child care because child care is just very expensive. Um, <laughs> what? What? No. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? Oh. No, not today. You gonna think about this? What we what we about to say? If that's it, at least be truthful. <laughs> like we ain't got the most money, but we ain't damn near fucking just homeless. I didn't say we was homeless. I said I was. We got a luxury apartment, but he's also. I just think we do have a luxury apartment. Like I said I just think of my husband as the child here. That's what you're doing. If you're if you're watching the child. Listen to it. Listen to what you said. I think of my husband as child. Sure. Not my husband. Not my husband. I just don't think of my husband as my husband. So I think of my husband as my child care. I think of him as a daycare. He ain't got shit going for himself. No, I don't, I don't say that. Two days, he, he, he got, I paid two car notes. How much money are you bringing in? Well, I didn't get to that. Do you want me to say how much I make a year? Just be true. Okay. No. So let's start. Uh, let's, let's cut it. Okay, we'll start up. Okay. Okay, back to the child care. So my job does have um, a child care unit on site where they come out of my paycheck. But there are so many things coming out of my paycheck. Uh, we have our vision and dental coming out of my paycheck. We also have health insurance coming out of my paycheck. Now I'm solely responsible for the rent and car notes and phone bills and just all the expenses for the home. So there's just too many things coming out of my paycheck to properly provide. You know my business, the resources that it needs. Um, I do want to us to be a six figure business, but it's gonna be kinda impossible with me basically being, I don't wanna say a single mom, but like a, just the backbone of the household. the household, yeah. Um, and just no shade to my husband, because at one point he was, he was able to pay all the bills and we would take trips and he could get my hair done. He bought this hair actually. So at one point he did, you know, do what a man's supposed to do, but we just thought it'd be better if he just take a step back and, you know, just regroup and let me do my thing. And I'll let him piggyback, like, off of why he decided to take the step out of work. Because I know you guys probably wonder, like, well, why did he quit working if it's going to make it hard on you? So, I'll just let him just see, like, tell you guys why he thought it would be better, even though it was my idea. Why did he go along with it? Yeah, um, it was pretty much because of money, I would say. Uh, not having enough money to actually take care of my wife and my child that was the biggest thing I would say is what led me to leave that company so yeah just lack of money really okay and I know they may ask like so if it was lack of money then what is it going to be now that now you don't have any income so just they may be wondering like if it was a lack of money with some income what is it like with none what is it like with them? Yeah, cause since like you had to literally ask me for everything, like. It's very embarrassing. I would probably say. <laughs> well, it could, it can be embarrassing, but you know, you know, I got your back, so. Yeah. Yeah. So um, then that, that's just one thing. Like I don't ever want my husband to feel embarrassed or belittled by, you know, cause hardships do occur. So um, 
of course outside of this video you know for the grant we wouldn't disclose this with anyone um so i just think it's just like a rough patch in our marriage where you know we just get to i not just get to have this back although it is tough and my back is against the wall like i never thought my husband had to you know ask me to you know like small things like can you get me deodorant you know it would be cute if i would just keep those things to stop but now it's just like if i don't get it he can't you know have those things so it's a rough it's rough so i just want to encourage like entrepreneurs that you know moms or single moms i kind of feel like i am a single mom but i have child care like in a sense like he gonna watch the baby and i'm gonna go and provide um so for the single mom entrepreneurs if you're working from home i know it's tough i know sometimes it can it can be hard um but at least you know we you know we get a chance to to do those things so um another thing i do really really want like a brick and water store that's like my main goal um because all I'll, we do have a luxury apartment but it doesn't feel as luxury anymore because i have over like 35 products while i've expanded my business and they're all in my home so it's just it's, it's claustrophobic with everything um he wants to be like a gamer so we have his gaming set up in my business so you know it's a lot um and also as as far as him taking a work he gets to focus on like his gaming career he games a lot a lot of people may think like well if he got time to game he can you know get a job and i do agree but uh -huh. he did tell me that there's money in youtubing yes. um so he do like stream some of the things yeah. um and but right now the income has not been coming in but we just pray that you know he does get his following Yes. Um, so we're going to have to just wrap this up and um, I just appreciate the opportunity just to come tell my side of the story and why I feel that I'm a great candidate. Um, just some of the struggles that um, I've been facing this past year just with my business alone and my personal life since my business is a home business, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, and I just want to appreciate my husband for coming and being vulnerable and letting you guys know like it, it, it's not always, you know, what it looks like. Um, so yeah. That's kind of where we are with it. Um, and last word? No. Uh, just hope that she gets this grant. I really do. <laughs> You're the helper. Sorry, cut that. Stop! Cut! 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 We cry when we come back. So do you want? Cause my voice shaking. So we have to say like we cry just to wrap it up. Uh, you guys for taking the time to, to listen to what Shay has to say and I have to say about what we've been through uh, lately. So hopefully, with her getting this grant, it's going to help her out tremendously with her business and also with the family as a whole. So yes. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you so much. And um. Even if I do not get this once again, thanks for the opportunity and um, keep us in your prayers. Thank you. How do you think that we did? It wasn't natural. Why you say that? It wasn't natural at all. I thought it was. No, it wasn't. What part was unnatural, do you all think? All the tell me that I was <laughs> broke and I'm a basically child welfare. I never said that. I just told them that, like, you don't have a job right now. I do. <laughs> well, it was a prank. So, it wasn't real. So, Grant is real, but I didn't really, I didn't really apply for it. <laughs> y'all, yeah. it literally took us all day. We literally, if y'all can tell, like, it's so much dark in here. It's actually, like, 4 o'clock now. We had to take all the old footage off of this camera and put it on the computer because ran out of space. So this whole time, <laughs> so this whole time he like, I'm like, we gotta go ahead and get done so we can meet the deadline. But I do appreciate you for riding for me. Like, thank you for riding for me. <laughs> all right, let's go. Waste my time. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let me close it.
close out. Okay, guys. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys are in this vlog, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And of course, shop the most shop because my husband got a job. <laughs> also, if you're a husband, rhyme for your wife. It was rhyme for me. I said it was broke. He was like, period. So y'all, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.